Hey, Margo. Hi. I'm so excited to be here at this beautiful cottage asking you 73 questions. Yeah, of course. Come on in. <laughs> Thank you. So how did you start your day today? I had a nice cup of tea and I went for a swim. And what do you have planned for the rest of the day? Having some friends over for brunch. If you could spend the day with anyone in the world, who would that be? JK Rowling. And what would you do? I would ask her 73 questions. No way. Yeah. Oh. I'd cool. probably ask her like a million and 73 questions, but yeah. <laughs> What's one thing that you would love to master? I'd really like to be good at pool. Are you a texter or a caller? I'm a caller. Who was the last person that you called? My cousin Julia. What'd you guys talk about? I asked her to bring some things over for brunch. Nice. Do you want a water or something? I love some, thank you. Yeah. So, you play piano. No, that's just kind of there. Impressive. Uh -huh. That is the Australian <laughs> national anthem. Advanced Australia fair, right? And you're an American, that's amazing. <clears throat> what can I say? <laughs> what do you miss about Australia when you're in America? Um, I miss the thunderstorms. Uh, what do you miss about America when you're in Australia? The convenience. I feel like everything's open so late here. If I had 24 hours to spend anywhere in Australia, where should I go and what should I do? Tasmania. I would tell you to go to the Mona. Who's an Australian everyone should know about? Troy Sivan. Who's an actor you love to work with? Matthias Schoenartz. Who's a director you love to work with? Wes Anderson. Would you ever love to direct? Yeah. And who do you always love watching on screen? Tilda Swindon. Mm, what do you look for in a good script? Mm, I want to be surprised, but also satisfied. Do you have to be able to relay or like the character in order to play them? I do, yeah. Comic book buffs or historical experts who are harder to please as audience members? They're both really tough. I can imagine. Yeah. Favorite accent to do? Brooklyn. How do you practice accents? I find real life people on YouTube and then I just kind of mimic them. Huh. Hmm. Is there a moment on camera that has truly shaken you? Yes, uh, the scene I got to do with Saoirse Ronan in Mary Queen of Scots. What's your favorite scar? Uh, this one. Got it when I was a little kid. Favorite book? Um, Harry Potter. Favorite artist? Magritte. Favorite band? Favorite brand? I mean, I have a lot, but ELO. Favorite song? Right now, the Oogum Boogum song. All right, well, you picked a beautiful day for a gathering. Uh, what does a typical brunch entail? Uh, all the girls outside drinking and all the guys inside cooking. What is your favorite cuisine to cook? I am not a good cook, but I can do a cheese board. Okay. Yeah. And what is your least favorite food to eat? Terramesolata. Have you had that? No. It's disgusting. Make sure I stay away. Yeah. What, what's been the most rewarding project thus far in your career? I, Tonya. Why? Because I got to be a part of all the aspects of making that film. Mm. Mm. A producing or acting, which do you prefer? I love producing, but acting will always be my big love. And what about producing did you not expect? So much paperwork. Would you ever do theater? Yes. If you make a documentary on any topic, what would it be? Why they shouldn't do oil dr drilling in the Great Australian mm. Bight. If you get cameo on any TV show, what would it be? Uh, there's a wicked new show coming out on Hulu called Dull Face. Uh, it's a Lucky Chuck production. <laughs> it's in the calendar. Yeah. True or false? You've played in a rugby league? No, false. I played on an ice hockey team. True or false, you tattooed your Suicide Squad cast? That's true. If I were to get a tattoo, what should I get and where? Ooh, uh, two Salvador Dali elephants on your back. <laughs> That's specific. True or false for you? Shoot. Did I offer you a glass of water and not give it to you? <laughs> true. Sorry about that. It's okay, Margo. What's your favorite lip color? Chanel, boy. Dead straight or natural wave hair? natural way. What's an Australian beauty ritual that you follow every day? Sunscreen. What was the last piece of clothing that you bought? Bought a yellow t-shirt from Zimmerman. If you had to distill your peak signature style in one item of clothing, what would it be? High-waisted pants. Thank you. What would you say is your most extravagant and expensive outfit that you've ever worn? I feel like the dress I wore this year to the Baptist is kind of extravagant. Who's your favorite designer of all time? Coco Chanel. What's the most method that you've ever gotten for a role? Uh, I'm not really a method actor, but I do find myself unintentionally behaving like a character after a while. How did you prep to play Sharon Tate? Mm. Lots of reading, watching all her films, spent time with people that knew her. Um, and I always work with an acting coach, dialect coach, mm. movement coach. Queen Elizabeth, Harley Quinn, Tanya Harding, each requiring crazy physical makeovers. Mm -hmm. Is your prep process similar regardless of the character? Um, the approach is similar. The process always changes a little bit based on the character, but the approach mm. is the same. And inevitably a lot of time in the hair and makeup chair. I can imagine. Mm. 
and having played several people that actually existed, how does that influence your performance? Well, I always feel a sense of responsibility for a character, whether they're real or not, but definitely an added sense of responsibility when they are real life people. Yeah. And you play characters from so many different eras. If you can go back and live in any of those periods, which would it be? The 60s. What's been the biggest positive change in Hollywood recently? Inclusivity. What in the film world needs a drastic overhaul? Non-creatives making creative decisions. Who's a voice in Hollywood that people should be listening to? Women, all of them. What female performer is blowing your mind right now? Phoebe Waller-Bridge. Oh, love her. Hey, cool surfboard. Yeah. I imagine your professional level at surfing, right? I am not a good surfer. I just like doing it. On a scale of one to 10, how good are you? Uh, a two. Who has better beaches, Australia or California? Australia. I knew you'd say that. What's your go-to cocktail? G&T. What's your vice? Ice cream. What's a fashion trend that you think will definitely come back? Chunky 80s earrings. <laughs> what is a fashion trend that you are positive will never grow old? Crisp white shirt, blue jeans. And what's a fashion trend you think should never see the light of day ever again? Stripy toe socks. I don't know if that was a thing here, but it was when I was a kid. All right, so where are you uh, heading? I see you planning a trip. Oh, no, I'm unpacking. Well, I should be unpacking. I'll do it later. But I just got back from Cannes. Oh, what yeah. was the best part about Cannes? Eating croissants every day. <laughs> uh, what's the city that you're headed to next? Uh, London. What country have you never visited but you're dying to get there? Sri Lanka. Oh. Hey, Julia. When have you felt most starstruck? When I met 50 Cent. And what is your favorite account to follow on social media? Tiny kitchens. They make little food. It's really cute. Hey! I'm me. Who's this? Uh, this is my cousin Julia. Hey, feel free to ask a question. What should I do with the snacks? Uh, at the back, please. Thank you. Okay, last question I have for you, Margo. I'm so excited for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yeah. What was it like working with Quentin Tarantino? It was the best ever. There are no cell phones on set. I don't think Quentin even owns one. And every hundred rolls of film, everyone stops and has a drink and celebrates. I think you and I have a lot to celebrate right yeah. now because we concluded our interview. I'll have a drink for the both of us. Sounds good, Margo. Yeah. <laughs> this is great. Thanks so yeah. much. Bye-bye.